Fairy tales were used in the past, and sometimes still used today, as teaching tools. These stories usually contained some sort of moral lesson, and most fairy tales also contain archetypal images and elements of nature. Think about your favorite fairy tale. What are the elements of nature in it? Does the fact that it's your favorite fairy tale have anything to do with the elements of nature? Are those elements good, like the goose that laid the golden egg, or bad, like the big bad wolf, or neutral, like the beanstalk and Jack and the Beanstalk? What does your fondness for those particular elements of your fairy tale tell you about yourself? Are there any archetypal elements to your story? Each of us lives in our own personal fairy tale called My Life. We all have good things that happen to us, and we all have bad things that happen to us. We create our own personal myths by choosing which things to focus on in our own lives. The good news about the myth of our lives is that we are the authors of our own stories. So if we don't like the way the story is going, we have the power to do a rewrite at any time. We can't always choose the circumstances of our lives, but we can always choose the story we create about those circumstances. If you go out into the woods and start observing things, you'll notice something begin to happen. You'll begin to create stories about the events you observe there in the forest. I remember once I watched a flock of crows defending its turf against a hawk. By the time I had finished watching, I had created personalities for each of the crows and, of course, for the hawk. Before I knew it, I created a backstory for each of the characters and dialogue for most of the major players. I watched the show for about 10 minutes before I realized that the story I had created in my mind told me a lot more about what was going on inside my own head than what was happening with the birds. So the next time you're able to observe nature for a while, pay attention to what sort of stories you create in your own mind. What could it be that your unconscious mind is trying to tell you by these stories? Can you see nature as a metaphor for your own inner journey? Hi, this is Shinka. Thanks for watching. If you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to subscribe and click on that little bell icon so you're informed when we release a new video. We try to release a new video at least once a week. And if you're interested in the Black Mountain Druid Order, you can visit our website at blackmountaindruidorder.com. You can also learn more about me, my books, and my music at shinkaskane.com.